Good day everyone. So now uh, we are going to talk a little about the art of emerging Europe. So when we talk about the art of emerging Europe, uh, we are mainly talking about uh, the specific or general thing regarding uh, to their famous contribution of their famous artwork. So uh, in this lesson, we will be able to know how does the art uh, influence the European throughout the world. So it says that art is an integral part of European history. So when we talk about integral, or uh, it is very difficult to separate the two, which is uh, the art and history. From the beginning, from the time of the ancient Greek to the contemporary times, art was an influential medium in communication, belief, and ideologies. So ibig sabihin, uh, mahirap paghiwalay yun yung dalawa, which is the art and history. So this have been reflected in the art movements that swept Europe, in a different time period, each movement appealed unique tenets and philosophy that highlighted the trends and changes of the time before transitioning to the next. So it only means to say that in Europe, there are many artistic movements who were born in one of the center of civilization, which is Europe. So kaya siya tinawag na center of civilization dahil nga ah, marami doon ah, yung nagawa na artistic movement. So, they have major period in Western art history. Uh, the art were produced during the different period of time and then the art movements. Uh, it is really important to know the development of the Western culture. So, European or Western art encompasses the history of visual art in Europe. So, it mainly talks about a visual art not eliminating any other art like musical because Europe is also a center of performing arts. So the, it is also known as their um, the famous uh, contribution in terms of theater. So yung mga nakikita pala natin and then uh, yung nakikita natin through online, uh, yun din po ay nagsimula sa cave painting or petroglyph art. So in that uh, way around, uh, we are uh, talking about the art that one form or another existed all over Europe. So wherever there are people living signs such as carving decorated artifacts and huge standing stones. So ibig sabihin kapag ka may mga umaalis uh, meron din na uh, meron iniiwan sila na bakas upang sa ganun ay hindi sila uh, makalimutan. So gaya nga ng decorated artifacts, huge standing stones and then marami pang iba. So, why does uh, the ancient Greece and Rome are uh, called classical civilizations? The ancient uh, the civilization of Greece, Rome, and then China have done this, but uh, what sets them apart is that uh, from their lasting impact and uh, that they had on the world. So, kaya ito tinawag na classical world sa kadahilanan pala na maganda at pangmatagalan yung kahalagahang epekto uh, nito sa mundo. One of the invention of Greece was a plumbing system. It is a system of pipes and then fixtures that installed in a building for the distribution and use of uh, potable, drinkable water and removal of uh, water bone wastes. Kadalasan itong ginagamit sa mga buildings in a city. Uh, ito pala ay sa paggamit ng tubig na may inom sa pag-aalis ng dumi sa tubig to make it safe uh, to use. In Greece and was the foundation for standard of beauty that dominated many centuries of Western art. So, darating din sa punto na uh, yung papagkukuhanan nila ng uh, uh, the standard of beauty ay patungkol doon sa uh, art na ginawa ng Western. So, it was, uh, next slide, so it was considered as the first Greek uh, the Messenians that had a lasting influence or later Greek art, architecture, and literature. So, a Bronze Age civilization that extended through modern day southern Greece as well as uh, coastal regions of modern uh, day, Turkey, Italy, and Syria. Masinyo was an elite warrior society that uh, dominated by palace states and then divided into uh, three classical the king attendants, the common people, and then the slaves. Each palace states. Uh, was ruled by a king with military, political, and religious authority. 
So the society valorized the heroic warriors and uh, made offerings to a pension of God. So the ancient Greek uh, were known for what they made a contribution to the philosophy, mathematics, and astronomy and medicine. So literature and theater was an important aspect of uh, Greek culture and influenced a modern drama. The Greek uh, were known for their uh, sophisticated sculpture and architecture. So nakilala sila uh, so dahil nga dun sa uh, pangkaraniwang uh, sculpture and architecture nila. So uh, Greek sculpture uh, influenced the Roman Empire and many other civilization and continues to influence modern culture today. So patuloy na uh, uh, nag nag-influence sila sa culture today. So the term ancient or archaic Greece refers to the year 700 to 480 BC na the classical age 480 to 323 before Christ. So known for its art, architecture, and philosophy. Archaic Greece uh, so advances in art, poetry, and technology but uh, it is known as the age in which the police or city says was invented. So the police uh, became defining feature of Greek political life for hundreds of years. So this picture stands for the ancient Greek uh, democracy, which is in the year 507 before Christ. Uh, the Athenian leader Celestine introduced a system of political reform, which is democracy, or ruled by the people. So uh, doon ay pinapamunuan ng mga tao. So compare sa uh, pinapamunuan ng leader, ito dito naman ay pinapamunuan ng mga tao. So from the demos means the people, and then the kratos is power, which is the first known as democracy in the world. The remarkable uh, marble relief uh, showing the people of Athens being crowned by the democracy. So in the 18th century before Christ, uh, Liv Hesiod, uh, who was the oldest historically established Greek poet. So there were two uh, surviving epic, which is the Agony epic about the origin of the gods, and then the Erga Kai Henrai epic of working people. Then in the drama, uh, Tragedy Athens gave a dramatic poets. Aeschylus uh, introduced a second uh, actor, so which is he wrote 80 plays, or uh, of each of them, is seven was preserved. Persians, seven against Thebes, that uh, Promotius, bound to Sophocles, introduced a third actor that he had written over a hundred uh, tragedies from which seven was preserved. So King Octopus, Antigos, uh, Europeans wrote about 90 plays, uh, media, politos, comedy, the oldest known uh, comedy writers for Crates, Magnus, Cratinus, and yen the others. So, uh, the purpose of philosophy was initially to explain the world as a whole over uh, time. So, pinapahiwating nito na ng mga oras ay ang mundo ay laging buo. So, the subject of philosophy specialized uh, the first philosopher name, which is Pythagoras. In the 6th century before Christ, the oldest Greek uh, philosophers were naturalists, Thales, Anaximander, and then the Aximenes, representatives of Milesian school. Among the oldest are among philosophers, Pythagoras, Heraclitus, and the representatives of uh, the Elytics, Xenophon, Zeno, and then Parmenides. The younger philosopher and then also two cornerstone of modern uh, philosophy of Plato and Aristotle and then the third philosopher was Socrates' age. So the Greek were known to place prime importance uh, in the use of reason. So uh, the humanist ideals of the Greek uh, were reflected in their form of government. Magreflect reflect uh, artwork kung paano yung way na pamunila, whether uh, good ba or bad. So, the humanist ideals of Greek are reflected in their form of government, reflected in their artworks, architecture, literature, and philosophy. So, uh, geometric period. The root of classical Greece uh, lie in the uh, geometric period about CA 900 to 700 BC, uh, time of dramatic transformation. 
So that leads to the establishment uh, of primary, which is a Greek institution. So the Greek city state, which is Polis, was formed. The Greek, uh, the alphabet was developed, and the new opportunities for trade and colonization were realized in cities founded along the coast of Asia uh, Minor. So the large temple century uh, dedicated to patron dates, which signated a rise of state religion. Geometric Greece experienced a culture revival of historical past through epic poetry and then the visual arts. So this picture shows as the Terracuta Crater. It is a large basis that uh, often decorated with a funerary or kadalasang uh, nakikita sa mga funerary. Uh, that stone sculpture used as a funerary monuments then uh, the bronze horse, the clarity and then the elegance of form, epitomize Greek geometric art, uh, its most accomplished. So, nagra represent siya as a clarity and elegance of form. Then, the archaic period. A striking change appeared in Greek art of uh, uh, severe centuries before Christ. The beginning of the archaic period, the abstract geometric uh, patterning that was dominant uh, between about 1050 and 700 before Christ that is supplanted in the 7th century by a more naturalistic style that are reflecting significant influence from the minor East in Egypt. So the Greek artists uh, were increasingly naturalistic representatives of human figure. So there are two types of freestanding which is a large scale sculpture predominated the male chorus or standing nude uh, male. So a chorus is modern given uh, to pre standing ancient Greece sculpture that first appeared in the archaic period in Greece and then represent nude male uh, youths in ancient Greek chorus that means youth boy, especially uh, of noble rank. And then the other picture here represent as a female car or standing drop maiden car is the modern term to a type of freestanding modern Greek of the archaic period depicting female figure always of a young age car er, are the youthful male equivalent of Kauri statues that which is the core shows as a restrained archaic smile which did not demonstrate emotion so uh, the classical period after the defeat of Persians in 479 so after the natalang sa 479 before Christ Athens uh, dominated Greek politically, economically and then culturally so this picture shows as uh, terracuta, ampora or jar as one at the left is a two handle storage jar that healed oil, wine, milk and uh, or grain. Amphoras were sometimes used as a grave markers or as a containers from funeral offering or human remains. So, yun yung ginagamit uh, for the offerings or yun, yung tao na ginagawang abo. So, the other one is Tirakuta, Physes, or Box. So, while Physes are frequently found in the burials, they also may have serve as a container for small object during the owner's lifetime. So in the grave, they may have a contained perishable offerings such as food. The knob of the lid assumes may different uh, forms. Dynastic period, this time, this is the plastic period. Art was focuses on showing emotional and depicting reality. Started to emphasize balance while showcasing. And this the Terato statue of standing girl. This and this is the jewelry in the time of Hellastinic period, the uh, Ganwin jewelry. Lacon in his son, depicting Lacon, a Trojan priest, and his son being struggled by serpent. The origin of theater and drama can be traced back during Greek civilization. The followers of Dionysius, god of fertility. Ascent Rome, 
Rome Republic was established around 500 BC. Rome civilization came during the Elastic period. And this is the uh, paint of Rome. Rome painting and uh, Rome bust. And Middle Age, as this term, they donate the period between the decline of Roman Empire and Renaissance, char characterized by ignorance, darkness. Church was the most important figure. And this is the Art of Middle Age, the Crusader Bible, and Book of Kells, Matthew, and Goddess Calc, Gospel, Carolingian, Illuminated, and Second Period, Romanic, Romanic, inspired by the Old Roman Empire, Gothic, which had a more northern fever from Goth, Vulgar, and Barbarian. Renaissance art. Renaissance art. Art value the individual as a subject of art. Most artwork emphasize naturalism. Revival of Roman theatrical plays. That's all. So now let's move on to the portrait of Giotto, which is the Lamentation. Or the Morning of Christ is a fresco painted by the Italian artist Giotto as part of his cycle of the life of Christ on the north interior wall of the Chavinai Chapel in Padua, Italy. Next is the portrait of Gates of Paradise. It's the fourth out of five books in V.C. Anders, the Castle series. Next is the portrait of Villa Medici, Rome. It was designed by Annibe Lippi and built in Rome for Cardinal Risi da Montepulciano. It was later purchased by Ferdinando de Medici and was occupied for a time by Cardinal Alessandro de Medici. Next is Mannerism. Mannerism is the artist would observe nature and try their best to emulate based on observation. Next is Baroque and Rococo. The term Baroque is derived from the Portuguese term Barocco, which is translated as irregularly shaped pearl. Baruch were located at St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, while Rococo located at Hermitage Museum in Russia. Next is Neoclassicism. There seems to be a debate among historians as the beginnings of modern art account that attributed during the French Revolution in 1789 and the other was claimed here in 1863, a movement in Europe that inspired during late 18th and 19th century. Next is the portrait of the death of General Wolfe. Death of General Wolfe is a 1770 painting by Anglo-American artist Benjamin West commemorating the 1759 Battle of Quebec, where General James Wolfe died at the moment of victory. Next is the portrait of Psyche Revived by Cupid's Kiss. Psyche Revived by Cupid's Kiss is a sculpture by Italian artist Antonio Canova, was first commissioned in 1787 by Colonel John Campbell. While Voltaire, the portrait of Voltaire, was a French Enlightenment writer, historian, and philosopher. He was famous for his wit, his criticism of Christianity, especially the Roman Catholic. Next is Romanticism. Romanticism is an art movement used the central themes of neoclassical artworks as a springboard. One of the major revolutions in history would be French Revolution. Major and central themes of Romanticism movement include the emphasis on goodness of mankind. Next is the portrait of evening, which is the landscape. Landscape with an aqueduct by Theodore Hericoli painted this to form a set of four monumental landscapes in 1818. Next is the portrait of Alfred de Dietrichs. Alfred de Dietrichs was a French painter best known for his life like portraiture, and lively equestrian scenes. Lastly, is the sculpture of the start of race of the riderless horses. In 1817, he traveled to Rome where the witnessed 
the annual cardinal horse race and subsequently made numerous studies of this spectacle. Vernet's painting depicts Grimm struggling to certain the horses before the start of the race, La Mosa and the Piazza Popolo. Realism a style of work focused on the accuracy of details that depicts and somehow mirrors reality. Then modern movements in art varied away from traditional form of art. So ito yung ilan sa mga alimbawa na nagpapakita ng makatotohan ng artwork. Post-Impressionism, an art movement that emerged in France. Some of the famous post-Impressionism artists include Paul Cézanne, George Surette, Paul Gauguin, and then Vincent van Gogh. Some of the examples are The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh and then The Sunday Afternoon on the Island by George Surat. Impressionism started in France that lead to a break from tradition to European painting. The distinctive characteristic allowed the artist to emphasize the impression. Here are the examples. Poppy is also called Poppy Field of a canvas of cloud in Monet. Here are another example. The card player pulls his hand and the division after the sermon by Paul Gauguin. So here are the other new impressionism artists. Those are Hand Edmond Cross, Maximilien Luce, and Camille Pissarro. So here is the example. Which is the landscape with sky 1905 by Hand Edmond Cross. The Morning Interior and then the Jalais Hill Pontois by Camille Pissarro. Fauvism that emerged in France around the turn of 20th century done to produce sense of explosion of the colors in canvas. Then we talk about the art of Nouveau. It is between 1890 to 1910 countries from the Europe and the United States with N that witness uh, the emergence and flourishing of a new art style. Ornamental style uses long organic illness and concretely manifesting in architecture. Then Cubism. Between 107 to 1914, French artists Pablo Picasso and George Braque introduced a new visual art style called Cubism. Presented of a new defected of reality that appear a fragment object. Futurism, an early 20th century art movement that started in Italy, which is highlighted the speed emergency dynamic. Power of Machine So, he is the Italian poet and editor Filipino Tommaso Marinetti that coined the term Futurism to reflect his purpose. That's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you've learned something.